Hi girls. Hey. You want to tell everyone what you're going to do today? We're making corn dogs okay. and french fries. And why are you making corn dogs and french fries? It's our girls challenge for the week. Should we show them at Grandma's Marco Polo? Do you think Grandma would be embarrassed? Probably. So you're making corn dogs and potato fries, right? And, and but what is Grandma's challenge? Do I have to help you? No, um, we have to make it um, for... Mom um, and Dad? Yeah. <laughs> Did you... Yeah, do you have the message? Mm -hmm. Is that the actual one? Uh, wait. Hi, everybody. I'm starting a new challenge for kids to make dinner for their parents. Oh, no. It doesn't have to be super fancy or <laughs> elegant or anything. Right? Um, just a good bout. Is that it? Or? Yeah, that's it. It has to be a good balanced meal, and I think hot dogs and potato fries are a pretty good balanced meal. I know how to make the Maybe we'll throw in a can of beans. I don't like beans. I know, you don't like beans. She would hide them under her stool when she was younger. She still probably does. I don't <laughs> and, have a And Abby won't probably her. turn around, but Abby, tell us what you're making. Brownies. And Abby's going to help moderate you guys. Uh, no. She's going to help you guys work through all this, right? All right, so I think first we need to get, Chelsea, you can work on getting the hot dogs taken out and drying off on paper towel. And Ashley, you need to get the potatoes and wash them off, right? Yeah. Actually, we can just cut them. And you'll have to have either an adult or Abby to help you cut the fries, right? Yes, but okay. I know how to do the wash. All of them all right. or just one of them? Um, all of them. I think we'll make all the hot dogs. Like every one of them? Yeah, because we can keep them for like lunches tomorrow. How much do I need? You need all those potatoes. Okay, so Chelsea, you're drying the hot dogs, right? Okay, Ashley, you need to go get ice for your ice bath for the potatoes, and Abby is down here cutting the potatoes. Do I need a bowl? Um, yes, just to put the ice in. All right, Chelsea, you're making the cornmeal batter, right? Mm -hmm. The corn dogs, we've got our recipe right here. So you need three-fourths of a cup of cornmeal, right? Mm -hmm. But you only have a fourth cup, right? So how many do you have to do? Three. You have to do three of those. Good job, kiddo. All right, now Chelsea, I'm gonna show you how, even though this is supposed to be mom's hands off, that's not in any way mom's hands off, right? So we're gonna sour this milk by adding some vinegar. We're just gonna add a little doobage. No, no, no. Now you have to let that milk sit there and sour. Is that, is that smelling kind of gross? I always forgot how to say vinegar for some reason. Vinegar. All right, so we just need honey. We need that egg right there, and then we need two tablespoons of honey. Okay, so Ashley's potatoes are in the oven. They're cooking, right? Yeah. Yep. All right, so we also have the brownies waiting to go in the oven and the cornmeal mix. We're gonna wait till the potatoes are about halfway done before we start cooking the corn dogs. All right, Chelsea, what's the next step? Putting the hot dogs into the... Well, you're putting sticks on first, well, right? Yeah. And, and then, then you've got your mix poured into a cup. Yes. And then what do we need on the stove, Chelsea? Potatoes. Potatoes are done, but what's in the pot? The pot? Oil. What is in the pot? It's oil. the oil. Thank you, the Ashley. <laughs> that is the oil. We're waiting it to get to temperature so you can dip your corn dogs in, right? Mm -hmm. um, do you know what? Maybe we should cut those in half. Cut Isn't that half. normally what we did? No. The sticks? The sticks in half. No. Yeah. No. Those are big. No. Yeah. All right, the next part takes parent supervision, right, Ashley? Yeah. Are you helping daddy by watching? Are you telling him when to pull them out? No. No? <laughs> we've got some in there, right, dad? Yep. All right, we've got our corn dogs. 
and our potato fries. And it looks like Daddy already made some dip. Good old fry dip. What do you think, Chels? I haven't tried it. I think it's pretty good. You don't pay that, haha. -ha. That's the good stuff. Dip, dip. You want to dip on it? Good? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have dinner. First, we got to Marco Polo. Well, we got to take a photo of it. And then we can Marco Polo it to Grandma later. She doesn't want them turned in for like an hour. All right, we're getting cucumbers. Are oh, you having the strawberries from school lunch? Mm -hmm. Are you going to eat all those cucumbers? Probably. You like cucumbers and salad, don't you? Put the ranch here. So they didn't really make these. These came from their school lunches. All right, we're finishing up our meal. Hey, get put that down, <laughs> Chelsea. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna show you, <laughs> gosh, child. So we're, without embarrassing people's um, faces, I'm gonna show you some of the meals that they made. So this is mine and Jesse's meal. We'll start at the end of the table. So down there we have a salad with dressings you can choose from and a pizza. So I'm gonna pause it because it's really lengthy on this one. So they made two pizzas. And this is a salad here, and then they have a green salad on the other side. And these are my nieces. They made it for my brother and my sister-in-law. And then it looks like there's cookies right here. All right, and then this is my sister. It was the most delicious chef salad. And they made homemade lemon poppy seed dressing that they blended in the blender and added fresh dried poppy seeds. And then... Okay, so she got a call for work, so I'll just finish. They made this little fresh salad, and then a little garlic bread, um, and then they made smoothies for everyone. All right, so then I have to kind of preface. My sister is not married and doesn't have kids, but she has a dog. So here's her lengthy <laughs> description of her dog's meal. Here it is. In the center of this fine meal, there is a pile of rice. Now for Doobie, it was plain steamed white rice because of course he can't have oil or salt or anything crazy like that. So because of his dietary needs, it is plain steamed white rice. But then it is then surrounded by hot dog. And I know that I didn't actually make that from scratch or anything, but again, dogs love, love their processed meats. So, you know, that's what she got. She got so a surround of hot dog and then some green beans because who knew green beans are actually really good for dogs uh -oh. and should consist of about 5% of their diet. So there you go. And then in the background, you see two little doggy biscuits. Now, those are not just any dog biscuits. Those are homemade pumpkin peanut butter dog biscuits. All right. And just to save you <laughs> a lot of extra chat, um, there's Doobie. We all know Doobie from our channel, He's and he so is enjoying his little meal right there. All right, we're going to end our night playing a game of Ruma Cube. Abby, would you like to grace us with our score to start with for the night? Here, she'd be lovely. Abby has 423. Um, Mon had um, 500. What? And, what is that? 507. Seven. I know we're done. We don't need to say done. Yes. Dad <laughs> 600. 607. <laughs> You're also trying to get the lowest points in the game. Yeah, but we're also, we've been playing this in, for a month. Mm -hmm. And, and this is keeping great, score. So this is from the beginning. And yeah. then, and then. So we yeah. keep playing until we're not in lockdown, right? Mm -hmm. All right, we'll see who wins this game. No, Abby, how many points do you have? Yeah. No. Oh, she had a 12. She, she, she has a 12? Nice. Well, I have a 12. She has like a lot of tiles Stop on there. She's getting the she good never points. She one. never has points. This is the most she's ever had. She either gets Okay, let her play. Let her play. She gets one more round. Either she goes out Can first. I just see how many you have right no, now? No, not right now. Okay. Three. Okay, so Abby, how many points did you end up with? 11. 11. But how many would you have had? 36 plus the 25 because you had a wild, right? You can always just put a wild down. Yeah, you can always put a wild down, but we almost got her. Yeah, How many do you have now that you have to play him and count your points, babe? He doesn't like this game at all. <laughs> well, he got Abby, it. How many? No, Ash, you better. place that down right in You only get one turn. 
Yeah, well, so you can take that. Either take that one back. Take the wild thing. No, like, no, I put in the wild thing. That I get gets it. you 24 it's points. Done. No, it's 25 it's points if you don't play the wild. You only get one turn. I did. No, I no, put because this, is this is together. It's all one thing. It's together. <laughs> we'll let him have it. Otherwise, that's a lot of points.